Oh, Sony. And Nvidia. And I hope not too Microsoft. Hi, it's Stu from 3B. Now, as I'm sure most of you are aware, Sony had their pretty much final reveal of the big thing, which was the question on price and when we're going to be getting it. Uh, this isn't a video about that. It's more a case of pre-orders. So we had Sony and then we also had Nvidia, which yesterday were uh, released their 3080 cards. And next week, of course, we've got Microsoft releasing the orders for opening orders for the Xbox Series X and S. So here's the thing, like many of you, I watched the Sony event and then I was kind of left a bit in the dark as everyone else was as to when we were to be able to pre-order. Unfortunately, I was still online and I got an email through from Game saying that pre-orders were now open. It was like, wow, okay, let's, let's get to it. So I was very fortunate in the fact that I manage, managed to get a, a, a PlayStation 5, the one with the disc. But Sony just simply didn't really let on that pre-orders were actually now open to debt, well, yesterday, and yeah. They sort of mentioned it sort of slightly offhand by text, uh, by um, tweet, through a tweet, and they deserve all the crap they should, they should and are getting with regards to their management of that, especially with them having said previously that, you know, there won't be any sort of... Um, announcement where there isn't any kind of warning that there's pre-orders going to be open you get plenty of warning and then well, obviously their idea of plenty of warning is like about just a handful of minutes and i know various people that wanted to buy a playstation 5 and just simply were not aware that the orders were open and by the time they realized the orders were open they were gone they you know sold out completely everywhere some other retailers in the UK have kind of done stuff, uh, opened up orders later. Uh, but still, you know, the demand is just crazy, crazy, crazy times. And we're seeing this across the board in the US, Canada, Australia, everywhere. And it's not just with Sony, we also see the craziness with Nvidia and I've got a real beef with Nvidia certainly from sort of a UK standpoint is on their website um, like many I put the note I entered my email for the notification and I waited at 2 p.m. yesterday for the orders for the founders edition card on the Nvidia website for the 3080 I know I said I was going to get the 3090 but I thought to myself Really, it's for the cost and performance and the value proposition is so compelling with the 3080. And having just sold my 2080 Ti for £570 or something, I, you know, it's not that much more than what I just got for the 2080 Ti. So it just made sense, really. So I was all prepped for getting the Founders Edition for six, £650, £659 I think maybe. And uh, I, at 2pm I was there, as were many other people, and I was refreshing. And it just said Notif uh, notify, I think in a green button. And it just kept saying that. And then eventually, after about an hour and a half, it just said sold out. It never once gave the option to buy. Fortunately, I also had Scan, um, Overclockers and eBuyer open at the same time and was looking through their cards and their sites were crashing all over. Eventually, I managed to get one through Overclockers, but I'm not too sure, well, put it this way, it's, um, 
it's a, a, an MSI card. It was the, the only one that uh, I thought was that was kind of not not crazy priced compared to the Founders Edition. I never got the Founders Edition, and I'm wondering how many people in the UK managed to get a Founders Edition. I'd be very curious to know if any of you did. Um, but yeah, there just wasn't ever an option to buy a Founders Edition in the UK. It just went from notify to out of stock. So next week I'm going to look at when they do the launch of the 3090 just to see if the same thing happens with that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get my 3080 card from Overclockers. I, by the time I was online for three hours trying to order and uh, I know that their site as well as Scan and uh, eBuyer and so on were crashing well well beyond that still so yeah this whole pre-order thing there's got to be a better way there's got to be a better way and you know maybe maybe we all sort of put our the only things i can think of off the top of my head top of my head are maybe something like um you you Everyone registers to purchase a card and they just randomly pick people and send out the invites to buy. And if you get the email, you can buy from the NVIDIA store through that link. Um, therefore, you're not doing this whole wasting of time, wasting of hours, the frustration, the bad will it creates of, of trying to hunt down a card. Um, perhaps that's maybe a fairer way of doing things. I don't know. Perhaps there isn't an answer to it. Perhaps this is just, you know, one of those things with the internet and demand simply out and, and demand all at one time, mostly on one page and the server's just going, I can't cope with this. Just leave me alone. So we'll see what happens next week when we get the the orders, the pre-orders open for the Xbox Series X and X, S and X. What I will found, find interesting is that they have that, um, I think, what is it called, Ultimate Package? I can't remember what it's called now, uh, where you get, you pay a monthly, basically it's on credit, you get the console um, and uh, the monthly subscription service to the, to Microsoft um, Ultimate and so on. So you get everything uh, for one just fixed monthly price. Now that's through in the UK and I'm not sure about in the US but I know through the UK and, the Euro and Europe it's through Klarna. So basically what that means, you go through, I'll just use in the UK as an example, you go through Game for instance and then through there you'll go through Klarna's uh, credit system they'll evaluate whether you're credit worthy or not and then give you yes or no based on that so there's a potential there of going through adding the eventually adding the item to the basket and then that's one site that could crash and then there's another one which is the credit side that could crash and then whether they all talk to each other nicely and you end up on the other side with a console. And I think there's a real value proposition for that sort of subscription. It's kind of a subscription, but it's really finance option for for the Xbox X, Series X and S. Certainly for the Series X anyway. Is that in, you're really not paying anything more for it. I think in fact you're you you if you add it all together and over tw over two years, you're actually paying a little bit less than what it would cost you if you just paid for it outright over that time. So I think it's an incredibly um, good value proposition, not just for those that can't afford the initial outlay of an Xbox Series X straight away, but also just in general, just a good proposition. So I think I may actually try and go for that. But what I think I will do is, um, and I may have to do, is order it paid for in full 
and also order it from, some, from say, Game or Smith's Toys or wherever and um, try and get it through that sort of in interesting package option where everything's included. So at least one way or another I will get one and then if I'm confirmed it with one, I'll cancel it with the other, whichever I get. Just sort of spitballing there a little bit. But it's just incredibly frustrating how this whole pre-order thing happens. It'll be interesting to see what happens next week. I don't believe it's going to be any better managed than what we've seen with um, certainly NVIDIA. You know, they gave a time, a date and so on. We're going to, we've got a time and a date. I think we've got a, t a date certainly, of course, but I'm not too sure on a time. I think our game is saying 8am on, uh, on that day. So it'll be interesting to see. But yeah, it's there's got to be a better way. So what I'm interested in, in the comments below, is did you get a 3080, 3080 card? Did you get a, an FE card, a Founders Edition card? And are you in the UK? I'm really interested to know that. Did you manage to get a PlayStation 5? Did you get the Digital Edition or the Disc one? And what problems did you have? Are you thinking of getting a 3090 next week? Or, or and or are you getting an Xbox Series X and what way are you looking to get it? Are you looking to sort of get that really attractive finance option or just buying it outright? Just very curious to to to, to understand where where all of you are at with that because it's uh it's just been a crazy week, the craziest week I've ever seen in pre ordering anything in my life. And I've been through so many huge launches, as I know many of you have. And this has been the just the craziest week of pre-orders. And next week's going to be the same. So curious, let me know in your uh, comments below. If you like the video or not, give me a thumbs up. An opinion counts either way. Consider subscribing, that always helps. We're getting very close to the 10,000 mark now. Well, we're a thousand away, still pretty close. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing more videos. I've got the Wooja thing to review, but I need to wait on my card because I need to update the firmware on it, on the Wooja. Got some hi-fi stuff I need to review um, from Cyrus and Lynn and so on. So some, some interesting things coming up. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.